If you've been around here a while, you know some of the history. The Bush family vacations at Boca Grande, their unwavering contribution to the celebration of reading. And in Naples, retired CBS correspondent Bob Orr, who covered President Bush for years. He was actually very personable, engaging, but not arrogant, not stuffy. Orr says the former president, also a former diplomat, congressman, and head of the CIA, often doesn't get the credit he deserved. I think George H.W. Bush suffered from being stuck between two very charismatic presidents. You know, he had Ronald Reagan as his predecessor, and then he was followed immediately by Bill Clinton. And both of those guys could walk in and fill a room. I think that does him a disservice. I think if you look back over all of his time in government uh, service and as president, I think he's going to be remembered for accomplishing a lot more than people give him credit for. He'll also be remembered for his life after the White House. George H.W. Bush uh, became more of a person. Parachuting at age 90. The only scary part is when you first look out. And in Florida, father to one of our most popular governors, Jeb Bush. The elder Bush, the founder of a political dynasty, but Orr says someone who also never lost sight of who he was. He maintained his person when he was in the office, and he was easy to talk to. He was engaging. Yeah, you know, it almost hurt him. He, he was so humble that he tended to kind of fade into the woodwork. Through political successes like liberating Kuwait, which sent his approval rating soaring, the war is over. To losing his bid for re-election. He didn't see that coming. When I talked to him in 1992, and he wanted to talk about foreign policy, which was his real love, and I kept saying to him, but Mr. President, what about the economy? Seven in 10 people are worried about the economy. He just kind of brushed it off. His loss in that election was almost predictable to many people. I think it surprised him, and I think it hurt him deeply. A father, husband, grandfather, a part of our history, and in a lot of ways, a part of our past. A politician respected by both sides of the aisle. And of all the presidents I ever came across, and that's about a half dozen that I dealt with in various capacities, uh, he was my favorite. May God bless the United States of America. Thank you very, very much.